Okay, so we have a word problem here that we basically have to use our skills multiplying decimals, adding decimals, and at the end, subtracting decimals. So let's read this word problem to figure out what we have to do. At the school cafeteria, Jasmine purchased food for herself and three of her friends. Altogether, she purchased three hot dogs, one order of nuggets, two hamburgers, a pizza slice, and two milks. If Jasmine gave the cashier $20, how much change did Jasmine receive back? So first we have to figure out how much the food cost altogether. And then what we have to do is take that total and subtract it from the amount of money that Jasmine gave the cashier to see how much change she would get back. Well, it starts by saying that she purchased three hot dogs. So let's take the cost of one hot dog, which is a $1.75, and multiply that by three to see how much it would cost for three hot dogs. So first we're gonna do three times 5, which is 15, and we carry our 1. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 1 more is 22, so we put a 2 and carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 more is 5. And as we can see, we have exactly two place values after the decimal, which means the same must hold true for the answer. So we place our decimal point right here. So it was $5.25 for three hot dogs. The problem goes on to say that she also ordered one order of nuggets. So let's take $5.25 and add to that the cost of an order of chicken nuggets, which is $2.45. And we have to add to the order two hamburgers. One hamburger is $2.25, so we can just double that total. And doubling $2 is four, and doubling 25 cents is 50 cents. So it would be 450 for two hamburgers. Next, we have to add a pizza slice to that cost, which is $3. And last, Jasmine ordered two milks. And each milk is 50 cents, so two milks would be $1. Now let's total up these amounts to see how much Jasmine had to pay the cashier. In this column, we have a total of 10 and we carry the one. In this column we have five plus four, which is nine, plus three more is 12, so we put a two here and carry the one. And in this column we have five, six, eight, 12, 15, 16. And then we drop our decimal straight down. So the cost of the food that Jasmine has to pay for is $16.20. Now. Jasmine gives the cashier $20, so we have to take $20 and subtract from it $16.20 to figure out how much change Jasmine will receive back. So we line up our decimal point and drop our decimal down. Zero take away zero is of course zero. We cannot take two away from zero, so we turn that zero into a 10, and then we go to the digit next door but there's nothing to borrow from. So first we have to turn that zero into a 10 and then borrow one from this two, which makes it a one. Now this one that we use to turn into a 10, we can now borrow one from that 10, which is a nine. And now we can do 10 take away two, which is eight. Nine take away six is three. And one take away one is zero. That leaves us with $3.80, and that is how much change Jasmine will receive back.